another interesting and uh, very inspiring episode because you see we have got a very charming person from the Indian tool making industry Vishal Purohit of Purohit Steels he is a third generation entrepreneur and whenever we talk about the molds and if we don't have a raw material what will happen to those molds we will talk about that so friends we are uh, here with the exclusive podcast from Diane Mold uh, India 2024 organized by Tagma India where we are talking about shape shifters the untold stories of manufacture today the all the products you see that earlier uh, when we talk about fashion it was about dress or it was about the looks what we have maybe the glass maybe the watches but it have now came to the capital goods the white goods the cars everything it is all about the models right and i believe to give that shapes there are a lot of people in the industry who works uh, the tool makers and uh, your company from its start is very closely working with the tool makers being a young generation entrepreneur how do you see the evolving journey of indian tool makers first of all i would like to thank you mr arish uncle and machine maker to have this opportunity for us and we all are very proud to be a part of the tagma the dye and mold industry of india which is very amazingly growing well they are every year they are growing at very rapid numbers minimum and double in double digit all the tool makers are growing so that shows that india is on a very good potential and the way ahead is beautiful better than this whatever is happening me being to the tool industry since uh, last my company so it's being since last 54 years we are now in the industry and the third generation as you said so i remember talking my grandfather my father talking about making molds which was when it took 2 years 2 and 1/2 years to make one single mold and now i can hear like you get in 2 week 2 weeks you get a good mold ready to build so that has become the evolvement from 2 years to 2 weeks is a very big change and india has adapted to it and india is doing at a very good level with a very great pace all thanks to all the innovations and adaptability all the tool makers upgrading themselves every year getting new machines getting new technologies investing their time their energy effort money everything into it because make in india is there make in india is giving a very good boost to everyone and all the tool makers i say every each and every one is doing a very excellent job at their own level their own pace but yes india is growing and we are with them so if i tell you 20 25 years the before that there was not these tool steel people used to make molds in mild steel then came c45 then ohns these all grades were there but now high hard grades have come pre hardened grades 2311 2738 20, 20, high hard high gloss csr this that and people have also adopted them they are given their time money and so now you can see so many textures so many polishes so many finishes so this all has become now staple every now and then people need new things new finishes aesthetically appearing good things not only aesthetic but also uh, what do you say the uh, the usage of those things like cars better cars better features better appliances or whatever everything has to be better and better day by day i thought steel is just a steel but uh, listening to you i am understanding you the, the companies you represent the manufacturers need to yeah. work very uh, hard on it to improve their uh, yes. uh, you know performance by giving maybe uh, the innovations are and yeah. is it is it happening or is it the steel what they are giving no, it's a steel no. the steel like we work with nlmk verona which is italian company so the steel is evolving again every day every day every day with their own experiences with their own r&d team with uh, their close relations with the oes the tier ones the end users the molders everyone and they find whatever is not there or whatever they have to do what changes they have whatever fine tuning they have to do so every day the steel is getting better and better so now look it's not just the steel it depends on and these days there are so many plastics pp cpvc upvc glass field this that so even the steels have to be upgraded you know so like it's not that if you go glass field and you don't you cannot use a c45 or ms or normal p20 it has to be high hard or some hardened tools must be used 
so even we have to upgrade ourselves and now these days the cycle times have gone down and the tool life they want 10 high, lakh shots 15 lakh shots and everything is like in cycle time everything is and then that cycle. will uh, the, the selection of these raw materials makes a difference in this a lot a lot that is the main thing actually you cannot use a maruti if your driver is not well or you cannot use a mercedes if the road is not well so there are many factors to it but using the right kind of steel gives you the best results again because you have to have being an engineer costing is the best the most important part so however good mold you make but if it doesn't suit your costing it doesn't make sense but now yes people are trying new grades because the grades are costlier but so per kg spending per kg is okay but reducing the timelines and per piece production cost has to come down so people are thinking in that way now like spending more on steel doesn't make a lot of difference but yes spending more on per part production that is the main key to reducing the timeline yes. is one of the biggest challenge biggest, we are facing because china is giving a good tough competition yes, yes. they are automated uh, their complete process and they can mm. but here it's all the tool makers who are building up yes so you have already told that in india for example uh, i had in this podcast before we spoke to obinder sir obinder okay. singh of om okay. galaxy. galaxy so we can say that his father uh, sri bachatar singh you know yes. he learned himself seeing the molds started in ms and all those things now you yourself told the tool makers have changed their complete uh, capabilities we are able to produce the indian tool makers are able to produce world class right. molds true now india even being a second largest steel manufacturer we are not able to produce uh, the uh, steel required for today's tool making capabilities be it dies or even many, many special applications we need to import. And I am seeing that many European companies, like you represent the Italian company. So all these European companies are actually dominating this Dominate. market. So True. why you think that Indian Tata is not a small company, you know? True. Jindal True. is not a small company. So we Arsenal Mittal, everyone is having here Nippon. But why we are not able to produce these special grades uh, steels, which is required for the tool makers in India? So there is a small uh, thought process after, before in this. Uh, if you say about Tata or Jindal or anyone else, so that manufacturing is huge. Huge is I can give you examples. For example, one plant or one any one of them, and they are one rolling line. They produce one lakh fifty thousand tons a month. So per day it's around six thousand tons. And what about the tool steel consumption of whole India? Whole India, all grades. Total outrate, it is not more than two lakh tons. Okay. So there is huge volume <coughs> gap. Again, and even grades different. Grades the, different. So it will be more heat or less. Treatment, yes. Critical heat treatments, very strict uh, quality norms. So those are different steel grades, and what they make now and what we want are different steel grades. These are highly alloyed grades. They need to be very minutely handled. There has to be great knowledge and expertise. And also experience. So that I think India is on the way. I'm not saying that they are not doing it, but yes, there are many companies in India they are doing it, but still there is a long way to go. Even I am trying to make steel in India since last five years. I, I was going to ask this question. Yeah, yeah. We 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 are trying, but still we have not got any good luck. But yes, we are trying. We lost around 200, 250 tons in the last lot. Which was not as per our requirement. So we have to check chemical properties, mechanical properties, and there are a lot of things to it. And it is not the usage of these steel is not like what currently Tata and Jindal's are making. Tata and Jindal's are making like their commercial steel. They are directly used. But this being a tool maker, one tool has, for example, a tool is X cost. For that, 20% or 25% is the steel cost. But the time taken for that is two months, three months, four months. And the expertise and the or whatever the machinings and all they are doing that takes a lot of time. And after that, if someone comes to know that this material is not up to the mark, so they lose the time, the timeline, and for one maybe one tool, the whole production line is stopped. So that is why people are not ready to accept the challenge, which is a huge challenge. But yes, yeah, slowly we are doing, we are evolving. We are also involving people from other countries. So that we get uh, good uh, technical know-how. Yes, yes. We are trying to do something, but 
may take some time. May take some time, but, but yes. But you are on the way. I am on the way. Yes, of course. Yeah. I wish you all the very best for that. Thank you, thank you. Even I wish myself because I want to make in India, and I am trying very hard for it. But yes, as you said, it is a long way to go. But we'll do it very soon. We'll do it. And uh, China is one uh, country which never uh, left any kind of manufacturing, so they are everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But somewhere I uh, see that you know in these special grades their uh, penetration is less. Is it that they are not manufacturing, or they are also the Chinese manufacturer also depending upon the European market? Yes, of course. So if in, you go to China and buy a mold, so even like everywhere there are two things: you want cheap or you want good. So if you buy want good. Then they also use European or Japanese steel. They do not use Chinese local steel. So of course the Europeans, the US, the Japan, Japan, they are doing it since last 150 years, 150, 170 years. So that expertise has come into those mills. And of course China is also producing good steel, but yes, they have to reach some level, and they are also on it. They are also. They are also. On. And I think it is a good time for India, and and I think. If people can come together, I am understanding what we are not needing is a big plan, but I think we need a bespoke plan which can come out with this kind of specialized steel. True, true. Maybe true. Uh, a visionary, maybe the Prohib can think about and and I wish you all the very best for it. What uh, is going to be uh, future we don't know, but we can only wish for. Now you are one particular company works with many kind of mold manufacturers. Doesn't matter that you know which material they are working or which industry they are working. Aerospace. Uh, there are sunrise industries, EVs, and there are a lot of potential yes, yes. these industries are having. What do you think some of the major challenges tool makers in India is facing? So I tell you, we are talking about now. If I we are concerned, Purvesh is concerned, we are into every sector: plastic mold steels, automotive, uh, caption closures, household, industrial appliances, medical, every everything. Again. In hot work steels, forgings, die casting, press tools, we are everywhere. So major challenge these days people face is like everyone says that I can buy a machine, but for one machine I need two operators. So getting those operators, getting designers, skills. skill labor is a very big challenge. And of course the payment cycles of everyone is these are the real very, challenges. Real, actually. real challenge. I can tell you, I. I don't want to blame anyone, but this is how the industry is working, and with this is where we need to work on, because being the mother of all industries, this industry is given the least importance, least importance. And I tell you, make in India can only be 100% successful only and only if this industry flourishes. And plastic is something which we cannot remove now. Remove every remove. industry plastic is yes, there. Yes, yes. And if you need to really give a shape for the plastics. You need a yeah, yeah, tool maker, yeah, yeah. and again uh, comes with the press tools or automotive industry uh, for the other die casting products. You know, I think again you need die. Dies, dies. You need dies everywhere. Every you cannot uh, remove dies and then do make in India. Start has to be there from the die. So machine manufacturing is a big thing, which is of course they are doing in a very good way. Everyone like Gujarat or South, the Ch Chennai or Coimbatore, they are doing very good way. But still, we have a long way. We still import a lot of steel, or sorry, we still uh, import a lot of machines from abroad. So that will change slowly, slowly. Yeah, slowly. we are seeing that change. Yeah. See, you also travel across the world, right? So seeing different uh, exhibitions and seeing different uh, uh, industries or seeing different economies. But even if we see in DMI, what we are seeing is uh, the major stalls are of maybe steel producers. Then we have uh, machineries, and then some of the tool makers and CAD CAM and all those things are there. But if you are seeing an integrated automotive solution for a tool maker, it's still missing in India. And automation, we are talking about speed market, faster delivery. But your automation also will make a big impact. Big impact, huge. So how you think that we can go to that? The tool makers can look into that uh, area. I give you some one example. Like there is a company in uh, Daman, which is a uh, injection molding company. So they have uh, gone into uh, dark factory. The whole company, like they have around 120 molding machines, and it's the whole dark factory. Only packaging is done by hand. And why they have done by hand? Because they don't want to lay off those guys. So in India, in India is a very emotional country. So even if I shell off 10 people, the company won't like it. That why do we shell? It? It's better to keep them and have some SOP set or something we can do in between them. 
because cost is not a problem these days the Today. problem yeah everyone can give the cost like good companies they are investing because they know the potential of automation delivery is a trouble delivery is a trouble delivery is a trouble everyone is having business see i never think that you know automation have anything to do with the uh, employment because uh, automation people are needing for consistent delivery consistent so delivery. that uh, we can actually compete with the world yes but yes, i yes. think that i also agree with you before covid if you see whenever people talk about automation they are telling roi nahi mil raha roi abhi roi to uske automation is doing well and is possible in manufacturing not in tool making acha in tool making every mold is different everything is different so automation is sop sir less yes less sop but still there are like automatic tool changers automatic mold changers these all things are there but the level in which uh, production goes so skill is still very skill important is for important. tool makers yes. skill is very important and i think tagma is also doing some kind of yeah, yeah, collaboration with the government the yes. private sector and coming out with a tooling academy or something right, like that right 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 so actually it was very interesting discussion and uh, there are so many things we can still discuss upon very but much, let me much. tell you when i go to this dmi dian mold in the exhibition one person who is always busy and today i was just you know <laughs> catching his hand and coming here kisi ko milo nahi mere ko focus karke aa jao and vishal is so uh, dynamic let me tell you and he is very passionate and i'm very happy that you joined with us in this discussion for us dye mold or any other exhibition is not like getting new people it is a greet and meet like of thing everyone knows everyone now it is a it's become a family dye mold has become like a family so everyone is close to everyone and everyone is supportive helpful everyone wants to grow everyone has that uh, heat in him the passion in him to grow and this is how we are growing and we are enjoying our life thank you very yes. much and i wish you and purohit and i would like to see a purohit steel ha huh? sure sure huh? and that is what our vision and uh, where we, we will... to god jai shri ram jai shri ram jai shri ram thank you all the best thank you thank you arish thank you very much wish you all the best thanks thank you